Hey there, I'm the Otter Nerd. And I'm Victoria Krong. And today we're going to be opening up a Universal Yums box. Alright, so this month it's from the Philippines. Hooray! Yay, which I'm honestly a little bit hesitant about. I feel like the snacks are going to be more savory than sweet. Well, I am I was more worried about them being more spicy than anything else. Oh god, that too. Okay. Oh, alright. So right off the bat, we've got ribbed cracklings, old-fashioned salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> I like salt and vinegar chips. I prefer, uh, like, the sea salt and pepper chips, but, like, I can deal with salt and vinegar. I mean, I think, are they, are they potato chips? It looks like they're potato, potato chips. Beer match yeah. series of snacks are cut in big snack size pieces. All right, well, let's get into this. Well, you know what this is better than? Piss and vinegar. That's true. <laughs> Isn't Oishi Japanese? I think it could be. I thought it was Japanese for, like, delicious. Ooh, that's really vinegary. Oh, God. Okay. Puff <laughs> <laughs> the chips. Oh, okay. Ooh, neat. Oh, okay. That's really vinegary. Oh, Put it in your mouth. Oh. Mm. I'll finish this, but I'm, I'm not going to have any more of those. Mm. Nope. Mm. Mm. See, I thought ahead, and I got water. I'll probably just be taking free mirrors. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, oh, nope, can't finish it. Mm -mm. That's, oh my god, it's like drinking vinegar. <laughs> and that tastes like corn. It doesn't taste like potato. <clears throat> oh god, I think I'm gonna die. <coughs> and apparently it's good for um, drinking with beer. Or, or having beer with this. Oh lord, okay. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, Alright, next item up is. Golden sweet corn. And what do they speak in the Philippines? Uh, they speak Tagala. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So the whole back is in a different language. Okay. So, let's... oh my god. At least it means it's going to be, you know. I can't get it. Well, this is really. You got a little bit of a gift. There we go. Oh, they're little corn balls. Oh. <laughs> that tastes like corn. Oh, God. Oh, whoa. That was weird. They look like little Cheetos, and I was expecting cheese. No, it tastes like corn. That's, that's a really weird disconnect. Like, I, I don't know. Mm. It's oh. not awful. It's not awful, but I don't know if I like it. Mm. Mm. It's weird. They're tiny little corn balls. Mm. There's a bunch of just like loose candy. There is, but um, we have. Oh no, hot garlic flavor. All right, so I'll I'll try this out. Boy Belang Corn Nick, hot garlic flavor. I'll try one too. I've got the water just in case. Try the. Okay, they are small. Okay. So I'll give you a couple. Crunchy, garlicky, not hot. Like there's there's a little bit of hot to it, but like it's at the very beginning and it goes away really fast. It really isn't that hot. As I say, as I keep Boy eating. Boang means garlic boy in Tagalog. Tagalog. Tagalog? Yeah, it's, it's Tagalog. Tagalog. Tagalog, okay. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> Pandan cake is the next thing I want to try. It's this weird little green fluffy thing. It's very squishy. Squeeze it. Oh, that's, that's weird. And there's only one, so we're going to have to split it. Yeah. It looks like a cake, 
Yeah, it looks like a pancake. No. And apparently, it's green on the inside. Okay. It's bright green on the inside! I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this is not going to taste like lime. I think it's just green on the inside. No, it's pandan flavor. Pandan is a plant that they grow in Manila, according to this book. Pandan flavoring is common in the Philippines as vanilla flavoring is here. Hmm. It's just like a pound cake. It just tastes like a pound cake, yeah. Don't be alarmed if the cake is green. It's not mold. It's the chlorophyll of the leaf juice. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, that's fine. Mm, good. I actually finished one of them. That's crazy. All right, so next. Goldilocks Paul Paul Voron. It's the purple one. Okay. Okay, so we got some shortbread cookies. They come in different flavors. This one is Paul Ube. Oh. Ube. Ube Paul Veron. And then this one is going to be cookies and cream. Let's just open one of each and we'll share. It. That way, if we don't like them, oh. They're the, they're the same thing. Okay. It's got the texture of a shortbread. Mine just tastes like cookies. I'm interested in yours. It's purple. That's interesting. What is ube? I don't know. What's weird is that it's cookies and cream, but it's also a shortbread cookie. Yeah. Ube is a purple yam. Hmm. It's good. It's not bad. Yeah. I think I like this one a little better, actually. I'm going to finish that one. We're done. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'll finish yours, too, then. Okay. And there's a bunch of just little gamble candies. Well, and then we've also got um, Melon got... Dew Menthol. I don't know what well, that was. I was gonna because we got the feta lemon flavored sandwich. Ooh. Figured that would be since it's a bigger one. Yeah. And then we got the pinkies. Not you know the pinkies from uh, from Doom. In the U.S. we have Ritz crackers, typically filled with peanut butter. In the Philippines, they have crunchy crackers with lemon filling. So it's going to be like salty and sour. That's a straight up Ritz cracker. I mean... I, it's not bad. You can kind of taste it. I mostly just taste cracker though. Yeah, the, the lemon is not like overwhelming. Mmm. If you think lemon is weird, be grateful we didn't choose the other option, tuna and bacon. That um, might be good. No, maybe. Bacon one, bacon's always good. Tuna I like. Lemon's kind of desserty though. Yeah. Well, tuna and bacon filled would make it seem like it's a bit more of like a, uh, like an appetizer cracker. Mm -hmm. There's actually one more left, so. We'll, we'll probably duke it out for who gets to the last one. Okay, so now I've got Pinky's Goodies White Chocolate Butterscotch Bar. I was trying to find that in here, but I don't see it. Um, oh, right there. Assorted Butterscotch Bars. Um, they're both white chocolate? They're both Boo! white chocolate. That's fine. big it is, and then we'll see if we can split it. It's bigger on the inside. It's not a TARDIS. Good job. Yeah, I am the best at opening these. I love Universal Yums. Also, we are not sponsored by them. This is not sponsored content. No, I'm just a fat kid and I love snacks. <laughs> Is it gooey? Yeah. It looks like a little piece of cake. Yeah, it's like a cake bar, almost. Mmm. -hmm. No. 
It doesn't really taste like anything to me. Yeah, it just kind of tastes like a, um... Like, I have the sweet. Like, I can tell it's sweet. And that, like, the texture is of, a, a, like, a dessert, but... I mean, it wasn't bad, but it's eating nothing. Yeah. Okay, so now we've kind of got the... Gamble candies. The gamble candies. Okay, so you're going for the Choco. I'll go Choco nut peanut milk chocolate. Ooh, peanut milk. I'll go for the Lips Color Burst Mango Flavored Candy. Ooh. How fancy. Do you like mango? I'm not really a fan of mango, but I mean, for, for the show. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh my gosh. That's different. Well, it looks like a chocolate bar, so I figured there'd be a little bit of chocolate. No, it's like straight up peanut flavor. It's not bad. Okay, here we go. Finally got it open. The struggle. The struggle is real. This is straight up peanut. Yeah, that's just mango. I mean, is it like comparable to like a lifesaver or something? Yeah. It's like a lifesaver or like others, like hard, uh, like fruit flavored candies. Like those little ones on the, the clear plastic that nobody knows who makes them or where mm. they come from. And then yeah, I'll try the Melon Dew Menthol after this. They also have, do you like, you don't like coffee, do you? I'm not a huge fan. These are Jack and Jill XO Classic Coffee Candies. Which one? Try that. I'm going to. There's a little coffee thing right on the, mm -hmm. the label. Probably too far away to see that, but who cares? Mm -hmm. It just looks kind of like a tiny Werther's. Oh, that's a strong coffee flavor. <laughs> I like that. It's like a black coffee. I'm just straight up like black roasted coffee. I'm a big fan of this so far. It'd be kind of nice if maybe it had like a gooey center. Yeah, maybe we can get them here. I'm not going to chomp it just in case it, you know. Oof, I do like that though. Yeah, we might be able to get some. We just have to find like a world market or something. Also not sponsored by world market. <laughs> hmm. We are not sponsored by anybody, honestly. <laughs> this episode brought to you by nobody. By my fat stomach. <laughs> no. I like that though. Where are you gonna try that? Oh, you still have it in your mouth? Yeah, because I've got. Hard candies, man. Yeah, it's one of the toughest things. Well, while we're waiting, there's a recipe for chicken adobo in here. So, <laughs> we could always make that. Vinegar, a fourth of a cup. <laughs> so vinegary. I'll speed up the process a little bit. I'll start chewing. I think that's all of them. Coffee, the lemon cracker. You're doing the menthol candy, the sweet corn snacks. King chocolate nut. It's just king chalk nut. Okay. Yeah, no, it had the texture of chalk. But the <laughs> chalk. Of nut. It wasn't bad. It was just weird. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the last one. So, time for the melon menthol. These candies will force you to take a double take. Oh, yeah. Cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate a little bit. Sweet lemon, or melon. <laughs> Dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet melon, but then comes an unmistakable hint of cool. Cool, ya? Yeah? Cool house, ya. Yeah. Cool house. It's a weird. I don't like it. No. Yeah. It's it's really weird because it's the menthol really takes over 
and kind of and it, it overpowers the melon, and I don't like it. See, I don't like menthol-y. Like, I like mint-flavored things, oh, yeah. but I don't like the, like, burning mint sensation. I don't want to drink Listerine, is what I'm trying to get at. I understand. It, the little book does say, it comes with this neat little book. Um, oh, camera, not computer. <laughs> I don't, I don't TV. But, uh, it does say that the vinegar chips are better when you eat them with beer. They're salty and vinegary and supposed to accompany beer. That still, it's not no. <laughs> I mean, if I had a beer, they might be better. Maybe, but that's that's stretching. I don't know. Maybe we'll do another video and we'll try different beers and try to find a beer that fits <laughs> that. <laughs> no, because I don't want to have this thing ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. So, overall, nothing was spicy. Yeah, I was. I, I mean, I was really expecting this to be spicy. I like the little Mario esque. A uh, garlic villain on the front. Yeah, it's we need like more of those in our one our punch daily garlic life. man. <laughs> They're not super hot. They're not. I mean, if you eat a lot of them together, I can definitely feel the spice. Yeah. It flows through me. Yeah. It controls the universe. <laughs> so. The clue for next month's box on the back says they like their vodka straight and their sausages smoked. They've been invaded twice since the 30s, both times unprovoked. Enough of their history, let's talk about now. They've got gingerbread, candy plums, and chocolate-covered cows. That's going to be Russia. Yeah, I'm thinking Russia. Ooh, I like plums, so maybe the candy plums would be good. Maybe. But, uh... Yeah, that's... Maybe some vodka-flavored snacks. Oh, God, I don't know. And potato. <laughs> just, just, just a potato. Just a potato ends up in the box. Yeah, so... All right. Borscht. I'm really excited for the Russian one. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to eat more of these uh, coffee ones when we go off screen. Yeah, so next month will be a Russian box. And Hopefully. Then, we don't know. It, I mean... It could be, like, some one of the Baltic states. Oh, something yeah, I really guess it, vague. I guess it could. But... <laughs> We're guessing it's Russia. If it isn't, we're sorry. I guess we're just idiots. But we'll we will definitely see you in the next video. Bye! So, sorry to come back, but we're pretty sure that the answer might actually be Poland, Poland and not Russia. Quick addendum. If, because the both times then provoked led us to think they got pro Russia was invaded because war. Yeah. That's kind of, I mean, like... Hmm. But Poland, Poland was just sitting there being Polish, and then Hitler was like, yo, <laughs> I'm taking this. Yeah. So, probably po uh, Poland. My family's Polish, so... Yeah, I don't really have any Polish heritage. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, um, maybe Poland, maybe Russia, we'll, we'll find out for sure in the next one. Leave your, your idea of what it is in the comment section if there is. I don't know. Yeah, I just hate the comments. So. No, well, never mind. So. Tweet at me, at Victoria Wrong on Twitter, and let me know what you think. Don't tweet at me, at The Otter Nerd. So, there we go. I just want to make friends. <laughs> okay, bye for real. Yeah, bye.